Hey guys, it's Jordan, and I'm sure you all have seen the flash tattoos that are basically everywhere, and especially Pinterest. So I found a few different ways, and I'm basically just going to be testing them out and telling you my process of how I did it and how I like it, and I will be testing it to see if it actually stays on and works. And before I get started, for all you new viewers, make sure to subscribe to my channel because you will not regret it, and I have way more DIYs like this planned up. And so if you like this video, you'll definitely want to subscribe to my channel because there's more coming up like it. So the first one I'm going to be testing out actually uses leaf paper. As you can see, they're super, super thin and like if you touch it, it basically breaks. And you also need some spirit gum. And lastly, some tape. I'm just going to take the tape and wrap it around my wrist. Here we go. This is kind of suffocating my arm. Probably should have done it looser. So this is just what it looks like. Then I'm just taking this spirit gum and just painting it on like that line basically. Now I just have to take this leaf paper and then just stick it on, here we go. You can't like touch this though or else it will break. So it doesn't go all the way around my wrist, so I'm just taking another extra piece and sticking it here. I'm just gonna take it off. So far it looks like this. And now I'm just gonna peel off the tape. And ta-da! Then you're supposed to use one of these things and like clean up the extra. So this is what we got. It has a lot of cracks in it and it like messed up right there. And it's sticky too. Maybe if I put more stuff on it, it'll stay. I'm just gonna put this on top of it. Since it's still sticky, maybe it'll stay. It's stuck to my fingers. <laughs> this is like so messy. It's getting everywhere. It's been like 10 minutes and I'm pretty sure this is dry. It doesn't feel sticky anymore. So I'm just going to use this handy dandy little fluffy fluffy earth thing to try to fan all these. <coughs> okay. Oh my god, it's like in my eyes. Do you see this? Mm. Do you see the little sparks flying from it? Hey, it's actually kind of working. So it looks really kind of cracked. I don't know if they all like look like that. The thing is it has a lot less cracks than before and it looks more or less like how it's supposed to. So I guess like it's pretty good. So the next one is just using a Sharpie, and this is just a silver Sharpie, but it's the paint kind. I don't know if I'm supposed to use that. I wonder if the paint's toxic. I'll let you know if I die. I'm just gonna do like the same method because I feel like that's easiest right now. <laughs> like my skin is being suffocated right now. So I think I'm gonna do Chevron on this one, see if that works any better. It's actually like a lot harder than you would think it would be. And you can't be very precise with this since the tip is so big. So like the chevron doesn't really look that good, as you can see. One of the things says that you can put a liquid band-aid coat on it, but I forgot to get liquid band-aid. I have two other kind of alternatives. One, I'm just gonna kind of cover it with spirit glue, and I'm gonna try the other half with hairspray because I also read that that works too. You can see it makes it really gray. Can you see that? I really, I like, I don't like the way that looks at all. And this side's a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna try the other side with hairspray. Look, that side turns gray too. So great. Oh, and it's bleeding. Look, it's dripping. So the hairspray side over here is dry, and this is a little bit sticky still because this was spirit gum, but I'm just gonna take off the tape now and see how it looks. Well, it's kind of a cool design, but it doesn't look that cool because I don't like the color, and then I'll blend it over here, and this side, I just don't really like the color. And that's really, really interesting over there. So to be honest, this one I don't really have high hopes for because you're just using eyeliner. And I read something, like if you use waterproof eyeliner, it works because it's waterproof. I only had gold waterproof and I kind of wanted to try silver. So this one's not waterproof at all. And I have a feeling this is not gonna work at all. So right now, I'm just gonna kind of put another one of these pieces of tape on. I think I'm just gonna like, outline this tape with both sides of gold and then put something silver on the inside. Ooh, it actually kind of looks cool. Now, this is silver, but it's not waterproof. There's gonna be like little triangles on the inside. It just doesn't show up as bright compared to all the other ones. Um, it doesn't look that great. It's pretty dull. I don't really like the color. I think this is mostly dry, so I'm just gonna spray some hairspray on it. Obviously, less than this one. Just a little bit. So I have one more thing to try, and they're the actual flash tattoos, except not. Because if you buy like actual decent quality flash tattoos, they're going to be probably from 
10 to $30. This one, I did not pay that price. I was actually at the 99 cent store and I found it there and I was like, I don't know how well this is going to work because it's at the 99 cent store, but I will try it. So I just got one of these and we're gonna see if it works. I'm just gonna like try it up here and see how it looks. I'm just gonna cut off the ones that I want to use and I'm just going to stick it. Then I'm just gonna take this, it's just a damp like cloth type thing. It looks so cool. I'm gonna try one more of these that I don't like as much because I don't really wanna ruin this like trying to get it off of my skin. Looks like that. I like the way it looks a lot better because it just looks like cleaner and nicer and like brighter. Okay, so those are the ways that I found to do a DIY flash tattoo. Let's um, test them out. I have some facial towelettes, so we're gonna see if they come off by using this. So the first one is the hairspray and eyeliner and we're just gonna test it out. I'm not gonna like press super hard, just like kind of wipe it away. It's pretty good. Try another wipe. Two wipes and all the silvers off of my wrist. I'm pressing like a little bit harder now. And the gold is like still managing to stay. So that's pretty good. Now on to this one, which is the gold leaf paper and um, spirit gum. So I'm just gonna like, first wipe, nothing comes off. Second wipe, nope. This one, I'm like, nope, not coming off. This one's not coming off anytime soon. Next is the hairspray side of the Sharpie. So first wipe, not really that much. Oh, it's coming off, it really is. Okay, this is the spirit gum side and it's not really sticky anymore. It's a little bit sticky. First wipe, not really anything. Oh, it's sticky. Oh, see how it's still sticky? How it like smudged because it's sticky? Oh, that doesn't look very good. Lastly, um, is this thing. And this was the $1 one from the 99 cent store. So let's try it out. First wipe, nothing. Yeah, see this one's coming off too. Kind of flaking off like a normal tattoo would as you see. So those are the results of the flash tattoos. So of the DIY methods, I would recommend this one as the first because it definitely would stay on the longest. My second favorite would probably be probably the store-bought ones just because I like the way they look better. So I guess I also kind of like the waterproof eyeliner because that actually stayed on like decently well. So those are basically the results of my flash tattoos and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have more DIYs for you that are coming out soon. Also don't forget to check out these videos down below because there's some of my previous videos that are DIYs and I'm sure you'll like them if you like this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye.